biggest impact spy agencies have had on cryptography. Number two, ranked by engagement bait. First of all, leave a like. RSA in the dual elliptic curve deterministic random bit generator. Nice. Security is hard. Cryptography is hard. The industry as a whole depends on organizations like NIST, the National Institute for Standards and Technology, to publish well-informed, rigorous security standards that the rest of the industry can then follow. In turn, NIST holds the NSA's expertise in cryptography in high regard. So when the NSA champions a standard, NIST tends to listen. What happens if the standard that the NSA is really pushing for has a secret backdoor in it? Well, history tells us that backdoor gets published and then companies like RSA accept $10 million to make that backdoor the default in all of their products. RSA then gets to say, look, the standard was approved by NIST. What's the big deal? Hey. What exactly happened here? Well, strong cryptography depends on strong randomness. Computers have a hard time with randomness. They're very good at following explicit instructions. They kind of struggle when you tell them to just do whatever, whenever. We computer scientists have tricks for getting around this. We can make computers crap out numbers that look really random. And this is all based off of a number inside the system called a seed. Here's the thing, in cryptography, that seed needs to be secret. If you know the seed, then you can predict every single random number that computer will ever generate. With that in mind, the standard that the NSA championed, dual EC DRGB, messes with this randomness. The standard included these magic numbers. This means that somebody somewhere, probably the NSA, handpicked these two magic numbers so that they could reconstruct the secret seed. This essentially gives the NSA a skeleton key that allows them to pop open anything encrypted using this fake randomness. So what's the impact? Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. RSA is, or was, a highly respected, widely used vendor. This backdoor could have been present in any software from 2004 to 2013, maybe without even the publisher knowing it. Anyway, that's all I got here. I'm Dr. Betty. Like and follow for more.